heavy weapons company for the battalion. Uh, we fire three different major caliber weapons, the 50 caliber machine gun, so heavy machine gun, the Mark 19, which is an automatic grenade launcher, and the tow missile system. The tow missile system is a tank killer, so we mount the weapons that man can't carry on his back. Dust Company is a unique company in that uh, Line Company does not possess the flexibility, the firepower that we have. We're able to move faster on the battlefield, get to a location with more firepower, and create a bigger difference quicker. Uh, what we have to offer is the flexibility, the maneuverability, and the lethality that uh, a normal infantry line company does not possess. Once we come on to uh, the objective and we receive contact, we'll immediately return fire with our weapon systems. Uh, we use a thing that we call talking guns, which is uh, we follow one weapon system at a time. And we'll continue to do that. We'll communicate with each other until uh, the target is either neutralized or destroyed. As I change command, I think what I'll miss about the unit is that this is the Army as I know it. For the last eight years, I've been in the tactical Army, in the deployable Army. Uh, this is the culmination of a childhood dream to be part of the 82nd Airborne. We train 365 days a year, essentially, for a war we never know will come. For It could be an airborne assault, it could be Afghanistan. But we train with troops that are better than anywhere else in the Army because for starters, they're double volunteers. They join the Army, they volunteer to jump out of a plane. Uh, anyone who's willing to jump out of a plane at night at 800 feet is inherently braver than someone who won't do it. And I'm going to miss the uh, the enthusiasm of the paratroops that will do that. I'm going to miss the NCOs that, that make the 82nd what it is. And I just, I don't, I don't see things in the rest of my career as ever being as exhilarating as uh, standing hooked up in a uh, C-17 aircraft with 150 pounds of equipment to hear the rush of that wind when those doors open up and the light goes green. That's about as good as it gets, I think.